Hey everyone, it's Tony George from DocSports.com. Week one of the NFL Sunday free play. Hey, be sure and give us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you're always alerted when myself and any of the other handicappers over at Docs got free play videos up for you. It's a great channel to belong to, so get on it. We'll talk about how you can get a free Sunday card here in just a minute by clicking a link in the description below or a tab on the website. We'll tell you what's going on over there as well. Um, week one of the NFL, we're going to give you, uh, I'll give you a teaser every week because I'm a kind of a teaser guy. Uh, some cappers love them, some cappers hate them, you know, but uh, the average margin of victory in the NFL over the last 10 years has been right around 5.7 points and they're giving you six. Just saying. It's all about getting through key numbers either up or down. Also, we'll give you a pick in the Raiders and Broncos game. And, of course, you and we'll tell you what's going on over at the website. Bear in mind, I'm taping this on sun, uh, Saturday morning, even before the games are played Saturday. So I don't know what the results of Saturday were. We went into the Saturday unbeaten in college football so far. Um, so hopefully, and the free play as well hasn't been played yet that we put out uh, in college. So... Uh, we'll do a recap on Monday for you, full transparency. But um, you saw week one, opening game, you had a road underdog up against the Super Bowl champions and the best quarterback in football, the best coach in football, catching four points and in the toughest place to play in the country, in the NFL, go in there and win, straight up. Now, you can expect... The unexpected here on Sunday, as I refer to the Chiefs game, I didn't have any skin in it at all. I wanted nothing to do with that. Uh, that be, And I'm a Kansas City fan, so I just watch it as a fan in disgust at how poorly they played. Uh, but you're going to see that from good teams. They're going to play poorly. It's week one. You're going to have turnovers. You're going to have mental mistakes. You're going to have lack of execution. You're going to have dropped passes. Tony... Looked like he had a pair of cinder blocks on his hand. I put that on Twitter. Um, follow me on Twitter, at T George Sports. I might be doing some halftime lines for free. FYI, that being said, um, Detroit, you know, took advantage of it where they could. And even though they were handed a game, you're going to see some picks you have this week that aren't going to go the way you think they are based on everything you watched on NFL Network and ESPN and Fox and CBS and everything else. Thing they're telling you, they don't know anything about gambling. They think they do, some of them, but they don't. But that being said, I would go lightly. You know, cherry pick a real good one and then kind of spread it around just a little bit, smaller units, smaller wagers on the rest of them. See how things shake out. Okay, I've been doing this 32 years. I've seen 32 week ones betting in the NFL for 32 years. History has a tendency to repeat itself. I can tell you that based on experience. So let's get a couple of uh, games here for a teaser for you. I like the Steelers teased up to plus eight and a half at home against San Francisco. I'm not sold on I said it the entire preseason. I said it down at, you know, uh, contest weekend doing shows on Radio Row that I didn't think that San Francisco should be at this point in time, where they're at right here, right now, should be the third-rated team, power-rated team in the NFL yet. I'm not sold on their quarterback position. And bear in mind, last year, they knocked about 50% of the country out of survivor pools week one. They lost to Chicago straight up. Okay, that was the Trey Lance experiment. Now we got the Purdy experiment. You got a five-game sample size on this kid. Pick it and, and, and what he's got there, Pittsburgh, going to be real good. They look good in the preseason. I don't put a, you know, a lot of stock in the preseason, but when they played them, they were clicking. That's a tough spot for San Francisco. Give me through three, through six, and through seven. Those are all key fall numbers. When you go through three of them, that's what I call a value teaser. Stick them with the team we're going to talk about, Las Vegas Raiders. 
Get them up to plus nine and a half in this game. Two team six point teaser. Let's talk about the Raiders and let's talk about the Broncos. Las Vegas basically used Derek Carr as a scapegoat for a bad year last year, and I'm not so sure bringing in Garoppolo was a move forward. I think it was more of a lateral move. I think Carr might even be a little better quarterback than he is, but Garoppolo has been a winner everywhere he's been. Steady, doesn't turn it over a whole lot. You know, had a team in the Super Bowl. You know, he's got Jacobs at running back now. They've got weapons. This is his second year under McDaniels, you know. Um, they got a good defensive line. They got a great pass rush. Um, and they own the Broncos. They've won eight out of the last ten straight up against their arch rival. So, and they've won three out of their last four opening week games, including last year they lost, but they turned it over three or four times. They were minus three or minus four in turnovers against the Chargers, still only lost like like four or five. You know, when you have that big of a de deficit in the turnovers in the NFL and you're still within a touch, you're less than a touchdown away, you outplayed that team. That's just how it works in the NFL. Period. I like Vegas plus a three and a half here. I think the hook on the three is important. A half a point. On a fall number in the NFL, six and a half, seven and a half, three and a half. On those games, you want to look for reasons to be on the underdog. This shouldn't be rocket science to any of you. I'm not sold on Denver yet. I'm, Sean Payton is not playing in the game. He's got his hands full. He's even had to pull Wilson aside in the last seven days to say, forget about the white noise and the endorsements and the meet and greets and all the, you know, and dial in on football. We need you. And Russell Wilson last year, you can blame all kinds of issues last year on Nathaniel Hackett calling bad play. Russell Wilson didn't show up. He wasn't dialed into football mode. Before going to Denver, I thought he still... I'm talking Mahomes, Allen, Jackson, all these kind of dual threat running quarterbacks, the new wave, the run pass option guys, you know, and there's a few, Kyler Murray, a few more of these. People are building their offenses around. They're building their offenses around them and recruiting those players because of how successful Russell Wilson was doing it at Seattle. It did not convert when he went to Denver. And I don't know if Sean Payton is going to convert that week one. You know, especially with a rebuild offensive line, which was one of the worst offensive lines of football last year, against one of the better defensive lines of football in the Raiders. I think an under might be worth a sniff on this as well. You know, there's a lot of question marks in this game and laying over to fall number three against a division rival, even though you're at home. And Las Vegas has just flown under the radar. You know, no one's talking about them. And this, this is a tough division. Denver is going to be better. Las Vegas is going to be better. The Chargers are going to be better. Albeit they got a bad coach that's going to cost them games with his analytics. Then you got the king of the mountain, Kansas City. But Las Vegas is going to figure into the mix here somewhere. Everybody's got to pick to finish last. Sean Payton's going to take them to the promised land. Now, give me the Raiders. Plus three and a half in this game. Over at Docs, we got a free $60 link in the description below or on the website, a tab on the upper left-hand corner, you get a free 60 bucks. Put it towards any football package from any handicapper or if you're still into baseball or WNBA or NASCAR or whatever you're into, you can use it on any package for any handicapper. Take advantage of it. We've been around 52 years for a reason. We have a six-unit top play. And what I have done today, this is the first time I can remember in the last, in quite some time, I've had a six-unit top pick week one. But there's one big mismatch today. Also, I have some three- and two-unit plays sprinkled in there, and I have a four-unit, two-team, six-point teaser. Over at Docs, kick off the season right. Best of luck on opening weekend. 
in the NFL. We'll be back Monday to discuss the Monday night game because I didn't want to get anywhere near it with a premium play. Big one, Jets and Bills, AFC East clash on Monday Night Football. I'll have it for you on video.